City Day! Yay! <laughs> Chili says, we were doing a girls' trip to San Francisco. No boys allowed, so stay out. <laughs> we're gonna do a little swashbuckling adventure. We've got a few errands to run. We do have to go to Bonham's to look at some wine, which. Yay, very exciting. Wine for sale. <laughs> See you guys when we're in San Francisco. Bye! We made it! Yay! And we found parking. It's a miracle. We've gotta run some errands first. Jilly's gotta go dress shopping, so we've gotta be girls and woah, woah. Gotta do that, so let's go. I'm gonna twirl myself into a knot <laughs> on my face. That'd be really cute, right? Jilly's finishing up her little dress order. We, uh, that was actually the reason we even came down to San Francisco. Jilly needed to get a dress for a wedding she's in, so we had to do like the girly thing and, and pick that out. And now we get to have a little fun. Now we get to kind of mess around in the city, eat some food, drink some wine, have some fun. We thought we were done, but Jilly didn't read directions. <laughs> she picked out a dress and we realized that it was not one of the allowed dresses in the bridal party, so You're all back to the drawing board. Cool. Okay. We did not follow directions. No, I'm really bad at reading, apparently. Oh, nice. Bye. Bye. Here we go again. I think you should get it in white. Thanks. You're really helpful. I'm glad I brought you along. Fastest way to never be asked to be a bridesmaid again. <laughs> this isn't awful. No, it's actually very pretty. Okay. This wouldn't be the worst. I would wear this to work if it was shorter. It's almost just like the bridesmaid's dress that I have from Scotland Wedding. Oh yeah. Except that one's clean. All right, so the back is gonna look a little weird because it's so big on you. I mean, I like you in one shoulder. We totally just crushed the, the dress shopping. We got it done and Nailed now, it. Yeah, let's, uh, I'm starving. Are you hungry? I'm really hungry. All right, it's time for to chub up our noodle. Go we'll get some chubby noodle. <laughs> Keep my eyes, do I want to stay? If you thought you weren't made that way, it's the choices we make, we give and take, and I know you keep trying. Julie's uh, upset. She just got home that the dress she picked was actually already selected by another girl, even though we thought we had that whole situation under control, but it's fine. She actually ended up liking two dresses, so now she's on the phone trying to switch it all out. But anyway, we're here at Chubby Noodle. I love Chubby Noodle. I come here pretty much every time I'm in the city. It's like super casual, really great noodles. But they're closed for, uh, they're not closed for lunch. You can only get takeout for lunch, so it's okay. We're gonna go to Chrissy Field and we're gonna eat our lunch there. It's gonna be great. Things haven't totally gone as planned today. Things are fine. <laughs> <what they are. laughs> We're making lemons out of lemonade. We're here eating lunch in this beautiful We're park. Making lemons out of lemonade. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Making lemonade out of lemons. Grapes out of wine. <laughs> wine out of grapes. Anyway, we're making the most we're making the most of this situation. We've got our chubby noodle takeout. We're gonna sit here in the park and eat it. And we're gonna we're gonna turn this day around. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. This is your first chubby noodle experience. What do you think? It's great. Yeah. Why don't we have this in Napa? Why don't we have this in Napa? Is Napa noodle other part of our little field trip in San Francisco is we had to check some bottles that are going to be going up for auction on Friday. So we're here at Bonhams and 
I don't know, it's always makes you feel kind of fancy and it's fun because I think this is your first auction, right? Yep, my yeah. first auction. Woo -hoo! First auction. <laughs> Anytime bottles go up for sale that are for auction, we usually try to drive down here, check them out, make sure they're okay, make sure the quality's good, the fill levels are looking good, and um, Bottoms is always really good about letting us do that, so let's go inside. <laughs> No trip to the city would be complete without a stop at a wine store. Like between the two of us, we just like can't help ourselves. We have to at least look around and see what they have. Adults in a candy store. Live, which is kind of like a Chinese version of Italy right here in San Francisco and it's pretty cool there's lots of different places to sit down and eat there's bars we're having some tea right now but there's tons of like artisanal goods lots of um, lots of cookware I don't know a friend told us about it we thought it'd be kind of cool to check out so here we are Just drink wine. Sometimes we drink tea. Yeah, absolutely. We need to hydrate. It smells like <laughs> apple blossoms, <laughs> magnolia tree. No cherry blossom? It's like no a classic blossom. Asian Se description. Seaweed. Seaweed. Oh. Very umami. Sunflower. <laughs> and Cedar oyster. flower. And oyster shell. <laughs> okay. On the palate. It's very light. It's got a medium finish. <laughs> it's a specialty, but a nice, even, savory, salty, herbaceous note to finish. I would qualify this medium to high quality tea from the region of China. <laughs> this is gonna be so shaky. Like, yeah, stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> You're like cackling, trying to hold the camera. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, woman. Probably work on my tea blind tasting skills. <laughs> All this time, I didn't know I had my heart on standby. The girl downstairs told us that there was this like secret scotch bar up in the second floor, and I think I might have found it. What do you mean? We're going for a dumb machine. You gave me a smile. You stood there for a while. That was when you woke me up. This is uh, two bitters. So the drink definitely has a salty, savory element as well as like kind of those earthy elements from the mushroom bitters. So we're gonna garnish this with um, some opposite flavors and aromas. So we're gonna do some fresh mint on the top as well as some lemon peel. It's kind of unusual to get like mint on an old fashioned, but the bright aroma contrasts nicely to the Without emotions made of steel What was I supposed to feel? I didn't want to take chances 
past romances were telling. This is duck fat infused scotch made from the duck fat from the Peking ducks that they're making downstairs. This is so cool. It's like briny but sweet. Amazing. No, it's cute. Yeah, it's really cute. Is it delicious? It's delicious. I got their classic cocktail called the Sometimes Old Fashioned, and it is also tray delicious. this magical adventure in San Francisco with one, an amazing spot that Julie found. Her part, and more importantly, at A16 Wine Bar, which is known for having one of the best Italian wine lists in San Francisco. Actually, they won the James Beard Award for Outstanding Wine Program, right? Yeah, but not this year. No, it was like Two a couple years ago. It was like a couple years ago they won the program. They won the award. So I'm really excited to go back. Julie hasn't been, and I've only had a glass of wine, so we're gonna have dinner here tonight. the ice cream which makes it super smooth and creamy and it's my favorite. I love it and it's the only way to end this day, I think, right? Yeah. yeah. The only way. Yeah. Okay, so now we're officially doing a vlog and we're saying goodnight and goodbye. We're getting our ice cream. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I just wanna dance. I just wanna dance. Don't you wanna party? Sitting in the crowd feeling heartbeat. Everybody's carefree. Everybody's carefree. Don't you wanna party? Sitting in the crowd feeling heartbeat. Don't you wanna party? Don't you wanna party? Staying out all night, feeling.